right now, what's absolutely helping prop up the rental market is a lot of the government support. So unemployment benefits, small business loans, keeping more people employed at this time. You know, when we think about who is really gonna be much more challenged in this environment, it often comes down to who lost their job and then also who has the kind of savings in order to weather the storm. When we think about who lost their job, you know, you're thinking about non-essential businesses, food, uh, service, arts, entertainment. Households who are more severely rent burdened have a much more difficult time saving for anything at all. And the households that are more likely to be rent burdened are the elderly as well as Black and Hispanic households and lower income households in general. Rent softening across the country is pretty ubiquitous. Now, rent had previously, pre-crisis, had started to re-accelerate. The population bearing down in the rental market was massive. Now the crisis hit, the job loss, the income loss, and we started to see rents fall in April. past 10 years, rent has absolutely paced income. And a lot of that can be tracked back to the last housing crisis. 4.5 million people received a mortgage, became homeowners that really couldn't sustain home ownership. That was predatory credit. That was excess credit driving excess home ownership. During that period of time, we stopped building apartments in favor of building single family homes. Now hit the housing bubble crash and you had a flood of foreclosures. People of color, lower income households, these were the targets of predatory credit. Black and Hispanic households were over twice as likely to foreclose. That was households dumped back into a rental market that had been underbuilding. Now that put a lot of pressure on that housing market. Rents outpaced income significantly, and we've seen rent burdens that are much higher than historical norms. Protections for renters, like rent moratoriums, but not just those, also unemployment benefits or rent support at this time, because that will also help in turn landlords really do need to be extended. You know, when we think about the forecast for GDP, when we think about the forecast for jobs returning and unemployment growth, we're not going to be back to normal by July 31st. It's been a deep recession. The recovery looks faster than I think a lot of us anticipated. That's filling a lot of economists and people who analyze the market with optimism. But the depth of this job loss, the depth of the employment loss is such that even a fast recovery will take a lot of time. 